circles, but let's move the stones and build a cross because that is what we're holding on to. So everybody, let's get, uh, there are 10 of us. So two people get two stones and let's build a cross in this place. Maybe those in the land. There's a millipede under it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, there are bugs everywhere after the rain. Yeah, white stones are good. White stones are very good. Okay, so let's just build a cross. Now I know they're probably sitting, oh no, they're not sitting on this, good. Oh, they're sitting there. Let's build it where it'll be a little bit hidden because I don't want it to be destroyed. But in in sight of the, uh, um, of the altar, of the whore, yeah. Okay. So we just declare in sight yeah, the of the four-horned right altar start crossing the cross. that we hold to the cross instead of oh that's that's a good cornerstone. Let's let's let that be where this middle. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow, that's good. Okay, come on. One more over there. One more on that side to make it even. Okay, and one up there. One up there. There we go. We've got it. Let's just make that declaration and then. If you move a little bit, I will take a picture. We got 17. Can we add one more? Oh, for sure. Can you hide? I'm the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. There we go. Good. We got 18. 18. We got them. We got it. 18. It's 18 already? Yes. Uh huh. Am Nisrael Chai. Oda Vinu Chai. Wow. No, that's seven. So we just did make this de declaration in sight of the four horns of the altar that we don't hold to the altar, we hold to the cross. The yes. blood of Messiah is our refuge and our shelter. Yeah. And we thank you, Lord, that you have brought us to Shiloh today. And I just thank you that as that little man who was walking by with the long beard and the long tail, and I told him that uh, I'm with a group and online with Christians from around the world who love Israel and are praying for you. And I asked him, what do you think about that? And he said, may you have a blessing wherever you go. And so we have been welcomed into this place by someone who has authority here. He obviously lives in this region. And he, I asked him if he was coming here to pray. He said all the time, this is where he comes to pray. So uh, he probably lives here in Shiloh. 